Wait, let's talk about six tips for dissecting a human body for autopsy reasons only. Step number one, the Y incision. On the front of the body, starting at the shoulders, cut to near the bottom of the sternum, and from that point, cut straight down to the center of the groin. Step two, remove the heart and then the lung. The heart is sometimes used for blood typing, DNA analysis, and toxicology tests. Step number three, examining the guts. Next, examine, weigh, and collect tissue samples from each organ. Step number four, examining the stomach. Explore the contents of the stomach and collect samples for the toxicology exam. In addition to the stomach, collect samples of eye fluid, gallbladder juice, urine, and liver tissue. Step number five, check out the brain. First examine the exterior of the head for trauma, fractures, and then open up the skull to look at the brain. To get to the brain, start by making an incision from behind one ear to the top of the head to behind the other ear. This will allow you to peel forward or back the scalp to expose the skull. Next, use a bone saw to remove portions of the skull. Be sure to check out the skull in place before removing it. Step number six, stitching it back together. After samples have been taken of the organs and tissues, the organs are put back inside the body and the body is sutured closed to be released to the family for funeral and disposal. Bonus tip number seven, the final report. The examiner creates a report based on their findings or lack of findings. The autopsy report typically includes, but is not limited to, a full body description upon its arrival, external injuries, description of any abnormalities, illnesses, or injury to the brain or spinal cord, description of any internal examinations of the chest, neck, abdomen, lower abdomen, as well as any abnormalities in the organs. Description of any findings during the microscopic tissue examination. Descriptions of the toxicology results, the medical examiner or pathologist's opinion of the death, and descriptions of any other important tests from the lab. Let me know in the comments what fascinates you most about forensic science or death science. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to dig up that like button and subscribe for more videos like this at www.deathscience.tv. Thanks for hanging out and memento mori.